so peaceful and quiet here. I say that about like every campground. We hung the lights yesterday. My friend Lisa gave us her lights. These right here, they're like solar powered. Makes it so homing. I wanted to wake up early and watch the sunrise, which I assume probably happens over there because we watched the sunset and it was like on the other side of the campground. But I just could not get myself to wake up. So I figured let me at least sit out here right now before the day starts, before they start school, all that stuff. But we are at Ives Run Campground in Tioga, Pennsylvania. I was going to say New York, but we made our way out of New York. And that is Hammond Lake that you guys see over there. We went to the Overlook where you can see the dam. And I'll try to insert a video here so you guys can see. It's actually very pretty. I believe it was man-made if I'm not mistaken. And it connects the two lakes, Tioga and Hammond, because Tioga has a lot of... I believe acidic rainfall from coal mines that are no longer in use. I can't remember correctly. I don't want to say something that's not accurate. So they kind of mix the fresh water from Hammond Lake into Tioga to make Tioga more habitable for, you know, all the fish and aquatic life that lives there. But it's actually a very pretty view. We have spot number, actually we are in at Hickory Loop. There are multiple loops here. It's actually a pretty big campground and it has the boat launch down there. It has like two playgrounds, a little beach area, which is obviously closed. It has a little shop, which ice cream shop, which closed the day we got here. We got ice cream the first day and then it literally closed. It has quite a few spots. This is a state park, by the way. Let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit. But it is a beautiful view. And I'm sure in a few more weeks when everything like the fall foliage will make it that much more beautiful. Yeah, and then I believe the east side of Hammond Lake and then you see like the rolling hills everywhere and this is part of the Allegheny Plateau of the Allegheny Mountain region I believe. Could be totally making all this up. <laughs> but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a view of where we are at. This is our spot. We are all camped out. We've been here for a few days now. Each spot does have like the asphalt so there's you don't have to worry about muddiness or anything like that and then it has like a little gravel pad with the picnic table the fire ring very well kept state park and yeah we've just kind of been chilling here for the past couple of days and we'll be here a few days more homeschool took a little bit longer than usual today josiah has like two subjects left we're going to take a break because it's already three o'clock by the time we drive to laundry laundromat it's in mansfield i believe which is a 25 minute drive just do the laundry real quick and i want to go to walmart we're heading out now that's what we're going to do today and then maybe tomorrow we'll go to the Outlook, the Overlook, and I'll show you guys that on camera. Good morning guys. It's actually the next morning. I didn't vlog after today. We got home really late. We went to the laundromat. Stayed there for a few hours. It took us, well, it looked like a hot mess express. I ended up putting the same shirt on. So it looks like it's the same day, but it's not. I didn't sleep in it. I just put it on because, I don't know, I only worked for a few hours yesterday and it didn't get dirty. Get my first sip of coffee in. Just how he keeps complaining that this is, tag is scratching him. We got him a bunch of clothes at Walmart yesterday because they get their clothes dirty so fast and I just got like a bunch of basics and I found some cute like sweaters and stuff since it's fall time. This was one of the outfits and glow sticks. I found a cute, cute beach shirt. Mama yeah, didn't but like it. It's not that I didn't like it. We don't need beach clothes. Here, throw this out for this away. It's like freezing outside and she's bringing me all this better. beach stuff. Can I have this? Can I have this? We have so much summer stuff. Mama, now it feels better. Yeah, it does feel better. Back to what I was saying. Um, what was I saying? I wasn't supposed to rain today, but it's, we woke up and I'm like, is that rain? It's refreshing. Tomorrow's supposed to be warmer, it's getting like 60s, and then the day we're, we're leaving tomorrow, and the day after that's supposed to be like 70. Today we might go to, anyway, what I wanted to say was, I didn't film yesterday, I didn't take my camera with, with me, um, and then we were at the laundromat, and we started talking to this one gentleman, I want to say guy, but I feel like that's rude, so I'm going to say gentleman. Um, my husband's like great at just like making small talk with strangers and then like having like a full-blown conversation about their entire lives. This gentleman 
this guy i'm just gonna say guy sorry if it sounds rude he was a local he was doing laundry there one of the things he mentioned my husband asked like what are the things to do around here and he said have you been to wellsboro they have the grand the pennsylvania grand canyon We're like no we never heard of that we even like googled places around here and it didn't even come up which is weird but he said if you go like probably two weeks from now the full foliage will be a lot prettier which is he's very accurate like right now it's just starting to change so if you wait another two weeks even, even when you go on the website they kind of track the fall foliage in the area you can do the same thing in new york vermont you can track they have like a foliage report or something so in two weeks it'll be the most beautiful but since we already saw the overlook the channel the dam separating the two lakes we figured maybe today we'll go there it's about 45 minutes away something like that i believe it's a gorge and they have a ton of hiking trails and then um they have like a bunch of trees going up the sides it almost looks like a canyon so they call it the grand canyon of pennsylvania so that'd be really nice to see since we're here and it's like 45 minutes away but that's the update so i didn't film yesterday i feel like i didn't really film much i did take a lot of short video short videos which i started doing to make reels so if you guys want to follow me on instagram i kind of want to recap every place that we go to with a short reels so far i have nick's lake we went to and um i didn't do tilden hill farm because it was kind of like a we were just stopping in before we started our journey which i should have because it was a really nice location too and the, but and that i also did recently i did watkins glen so if you guys want to follow along i'll leave the handle down below but we're gonna enjoy our coffee do some school hopefully it won't take too long today maybe we'll fit we usually finish around 2 p.m first we're gonna have breakfast i turned on the oven already let it preheat and make them some toast. They love toast with like butter and things. And then make some avocado toast for my husband and myself and get our day started. I was trying to find the name of the two parks that you can go to to view the overlook, like the main overlook. There's Leonard Harrison State Park, which is I think where we're gonna go. And then there's Colton Point State Parks. raining here quite a bit and the temperature dropped like probably 10 more than 10 degrees this is the parking area and then this says entrance to views they have bathrooms here so i don't know i guess we'll see from here what's past that entrance but this weather even though it's rainy and cold i love it it feels like fall it smells it smells like fall Ooh, let's check it out wow oh they i think they said they had like a little amphitheater you might need this map you might okay, how about you hold on to it okay? pennsylvania's grand canyon <laughs> it is it's a bobcat i'm gonna sneak out and see what i can see i'm assuming there's an overlook there it almost looks like there's a lake or maybe it's too foggy and you can't see anything oh no it's gonna be so disappointing. You literally cannot see a single thing. I think it's just fog. So a little disappointing, but I guess that was expected. It is what it is. That's like a turkey path. It says it winds one mile to the canyon floor. What do you mean you can't see? Oh yeah, you can. I didn't walk here, I went down there. You can, it's, yeah, you can see like all the. Wow. I'm sure it looks more beautiful when it's less. Uh, yeah, it is. So this is amazing. <laughs> I know, this is incredible. I'm surprised I, like, you never hear of this. And then it has. Just Papa. This is taking a video from his dad. Grand Canyon. Beautiful, though. Now that the clouds kind of got out of the way, you can't get over how beautiful this is. So this is what they call the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. And up here, the leaves are definitely changing color a lot more than where we were at Tioga. Ives are on campground, look at that, look at that. That is gorgeous. I think that's what most people show in photos that we see online when we Googled it. That is incredible, wow. 
Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. What? It's like everywhere you keep walking, there's just like a better and better view. It definitely looks a hundred times better in person, but I think this might be the best view. If you keep walking down, you'll see an overlook that kind of gives the best view. Is that a hundred mile view? That's crazy. This is beautiful. I mean, we could just like stand here all day. We just came from there, went around, and then we're gonna take the overlook trail. It says in 0.2 miles, the trail meets Canyon Rim, and we're just gonna walk to there check it out and then head back up and probably go back but it is just absolutely gorgeous here it's cold a little colder especially in the when it's rainy but it is so worth it in my opinion these boots were not made for walking but at least they keep the feet from getting too dirty on these crazy trails especially since it's raining and all muddy dangerous it's super dangerous definitely recommend wearing some kind of shoes with grips because that was quite quite a walk down but it looks like this is the overlook here and unfortunately you can't really see much because it's super cloudy this is the outer view overlook and then you can either go back up that way and it goes all the way back around or this way it's about a 0.2 mile walk it said so not too bad you can kind of see a little bit of the trees but not too much you can hear the water the stream yeah mm -hmm. now that it cleared up so it just keeps going and going and going the river and then they said they have some waterfalls that's probably what we hear the waterfalls because they said there's a couple waterfalls kind of similar to watkins glen you mentioned that this is the pine trails one of the great bike trails you'd love it i would <laughs> and my brother would love it <laughs> i know right one last time before we head back it's just so beautiful you can like stand here and stare at it for such a long time it's gorgeous and there's a cute little cabin or something down there I highly recommend coming here thank goodness we went to the laundromat I'm so glad that we did and talked to that guy that recommended the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania we absolutely loved we it we decided to stop by the overlook that way I can record it in real time instead of just inserting clips it's all gated they also have um i don't know if you call them binoculars or what you would call them so you can zoom in and get like a zoomed in view of everything around we were bird watching when we came here last time but this is i believe this is tioga the tioga side and then on the other side you have hammond lake and that's where the rvs are and then i think this is the tower that we see but then it's like, how am I, I don't think that's a tower, because then how would we see it if we're located all the way over there? I thought that was a tower, maybe not. This is Tioga side right here, and then there's a channel connecting. Right here, there's a channel, the dam, and it connects to Hammond Lake. And this is what people usually see when you Google Ives Run Campground. It's this view right here. It's kind of hard to tell because the sun is shining so bright right now. But this is it, very pretty. To kind of just come up here for the views. I wonder if I can make the exposure a little brighter so you guys can see, there you go. Because otherwise the sun makes it super dark. And then our campground is somewhere way over there. Were we able to see, weren't we able to see the boat launch from here? Like when you use the binoculars with Zoom? I thought we were able to see the boat launch. Oh, there it is. Right? Yeah, I think those RVs right there are the boat launch. So that means we're probably somewhere off to the side right here. The campground, Ives Run Campground. So this is Hammond Lake. Once again, gorgeous views. Definitely worth the visit if you're like around here. Just kind of stand here and observe. Yeah, today, I think today is the best day. No, tomorrow's going to be like, I think, 70. But look at this. It's just so pretty here. The fog kind of lifted. Today's going to be a lot warmer and then tomorrow even warmer, but we're leaving today morning. Making our way out of Pennsylvania slowly. Wow, look at this. Highly recommend coming here. This is just so beautiful. Especially with the rolling hills and the changing colors of fall. We're all 
packed up, ready on to our next destination. I just have to do the bathroom last. Everybody has to go pee before we go because it's gonna be quite a bit of a drive. It's gonna be one of our longest stretchers so far. It's gonna be about three and a half hour drive. The past two trips, we drove about an hour or two max. So it's gonna be the longest one, but this is our last stop this next trip out of Pennsylvania. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. Thank you guys so much for following along on our journey as we make our way from New York all the way to the West Coast. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you guys are interested. And 